Hey, what's up, Coach Vaughn? Here to show you this mobility wall at Supernova. This is one of my favorite tools to use after a workout. Uh, I gotta really agree with Kelly Storette when he says if you're gonna get a deep tissue massage, you're gonna do it after a workout because you wanna be able to relax more. You don't wanna be able to be relaxed before a workout because tension is strength. Now, if you're unconditioned, yes, you wanna be able to do some of these uh, techniques before a workout. Uh, so many people get so focused on foam rolling before a workout to the point it takes up their entire workout and it really doesn't lead you anywhere. First, we're gonna go into the chest arm bar. I'm gonna use the wall here and I'm gonna put it on the muscle, I'm not putting it on the joint. So I'm gonna get it with my arm extended in the back, my foot is in front, other foot is in back here. And it looks a lot like a kettlebell arm bar to get stability from. So I'm getting this right in here and I wanna be able to relax and breathe into this position feeling this loosen up. This is one of my favorite ones to do after doing like a chest workout or most, mostly for me doing pull-ups because when I'm hanging for a long time, this chest muscle gets really tense. So I'm really pushing into it. I can even get a little bit of a, a roll going on here, getting some thoracic mobility and I'm breathing into it. I don't want to tense up into it. So feel those shoulders open up down and back and you can push a little bit into that wall feeling that muscle trying to relax. You want to hold that there for maybe 30 to 45 seconds. The next we can go into a lat arm bar. I see a lot of people when they use a regular foam roller, they like have the foam roller on the ground it looks like this. Their ear is crammed into their shoulder and this doesn't look healthy. I want to keep my ears away from my shoulder so I want to almost resemble like I'm doing that pull up. So I'm keeping my ear away from my shoulder and then I'm still getting it into my lat and I'm still breathing. This is gonna seem pretty painful at first. And you want to relax and breathe into it. A lot of people tense up and that's their nervous system saying, I, I don't want to do this. Try to get it to relax and go right into it, relaxing that muscle tissue so the ball can really dig into that fascia there. You want to keep the arm extended, relaxing right into it. Next, I want to show you how to use it with the hamstring and calf. So next, I'm going to get in a good position to sit on. And I like having a wall next to to keep my back straight. And I'm going to get this supernova right underneath my hamstring. And I'm going to be smashing it right underneath there. And you've got a little bit of load too with your hands to press into it. You want to find the most tense spots. You'll find it will be near closer to the knee or a little bit up further. Try to find that best spot you can. And you're going to do a leg extension and then try to point your toe so you feel all this engaged. And like I said, make sure you keep your spine back and back down. The reason I like doing this is I like doing a lot of L-sit pull-ups or uh, leg raises, and this will actually help get my hamstrings a little bit looser so I can get that perfect L shape and to point my toes with solid extension in my leg. Uh, next, the calf. So let's get to sit down here, keep my back straight again against something, and I'm gonna get it right on the meat of the calf there and I want that calf to relax. I like to loosen up the muscle away from the bone there so it can relax. A lot of people they'll be tense right here and it's not going anywhere. So I want to relax it. And then I'm going to do an ankle roll right here. So I'm just rolling my ankle, keep my spine straight, shoulders are down and back. And then if you want to add more load, get this leg on top of it. You can even press in the ground a little bit more here and let that leg rest on this one and then do that circle. So next I want to show you how to use the bigger ball for the quads and glutes next. All right, so I'm going to get on my quad right in the belly right here. And this is a movement I learned from Dr. Mark Chang to get a little bit more dig in there. And this is what I love about the supernova. The groove in this really gets into the belly of that muscle. And you, as you can see, I'm rolling, going clockwise and counterclockwise, if you'd like, both ways getting in there. And then what you wanna do next is do a contract and relax. I'm going to contract my quad really tight, and then I'm gonna exhale. So now that quad's really melting over the ball right now, relaxing even more. So I like to do three of those get a little bit more relaxation in my quads. Lastly, 
We're gonna be resembling a lot of a um, tall sit position as you would see in a kettlebell get up. And you're gonna have it right on the glute there. Be very careful it's not on your sciatic nerve. So it's right on the meat of the glute there. I have this leg extended. I'm using this arm to corkscrew so I keep my shoulder down and back here. And I'm gonna do the same thing with that contract and relax you as I did with my quad. I'm going to contract. As you can see, it raises up from the ball. I'm gonna inhale through my diaphragm, through my nose, exhale, and it relaxes. You really feel it dig in more. The relax and the muscle tissue just melts over the ball. So those are your ways to get uh, both of these into your program. If you have to pick one, go with the smaller one. If you want to go with two, it's better. Uh, like I said, I like these for my big old muscle, muscle groups, these for my smaller muscle groups. Uh, for you fitness MacGyvers that are, are going to comment and just say use a baseball or a softball, I'm not holding a gun to your head through the screen right now. So if you want to use that, please do so. Uh, watch my next video on how to use the uh, Mobility Watch Gemini how to get more out of that for your mid-back. This is Coach Vaughn signing off. Hope you have fun with that.